Hello everyone, welcome to the channel and I'm going to show you today how you can create a character, a 3D character in Daz Studio, apply a face from a JPEG file, upload it to Mixamo, download him back into Unreal Engine and then download animations as well and make sort of a sort of sequence or a little movie uh, in Unreal with your character that you've created. So first thing we need to do, um, let's delete what we've got here. This is a project I did earlier. So I'll just start again. So just need to delete him first. So click on him and delete. And just check everything's okay. Yeah, okay. That's what I did earlier. But this is what it's going to look like. So we're going to take that character into Daz Studio, download into Mixamo, upload into Mixamo, and then back into Unreal Engine. And this is what you should get at the end. Okay? So that's just to show you what... Uh, what to expect and what the results will be. Okay, let's just delete this, get rid of that. And we'll just change the character here to make sure that we just got a default character so we don't get confused. There you go. And we'll also launch Unreal Engine in the background. So we're ready to start a new project. While that's going on, we can create a new project, go to games, go to third person, um, leave those as, as they are, give the project a name, we'll call it YouTube, and um, leave everything as it is there. So click create. So while that's creating, oh, don't forget you can put the project in whatever location you want. Let's go back to that studio. So we're going to delete this character and start afresh. And oh, here we go. So we need to, um, first of all, get a uh, Genesis 8.1 figure, so go to figures, people, male, we'll use a male, real world, click on Genesis 8.1 base male, double click that, and that'll install it, or that's, there you go, so there he is. Now we want to put a, a face that we've got from a photo on that model, so um, click on those three dots, and navigate to where your photos are, in this case we've got a JPEG, um, so I'll select the head, Click Generate. I'll make sure that I got male selected there because I got a male character. Even though it says that this message, ignore that. As long as you got male selected and you've selected the male uh, figure, that's fine. And once you do that, the face should go on him. There you go. So there's a face being transferred. Uh, now what we need to do is select him at the top. Make sure he's selected. Um, we'll put some bottoms on him. So let's put some pants on him. Double click that. And there you go. So let's make sure everything's there. So let's select the character. Now we need to go to the important bit. Ed, uh, we go to edit, uh, figure, rigging, and convert to prop. There you go. So now you'll see that his pants have disappeared after we've done that conversion. So we need to put those pants back on. So we just go back there, put his pants on. Um, but at the moment, you see they've got a skeleton. And we don't want that because it'll cause problems. So again, click on the skeleton and click on the uh, figure again, as you see there. Then go to edit again, go to a figure, go to rigging and convert figure to prop there you go and that should take away all the skeletons in in the clothes because some of the clothes in um daz have skeletons and they will mess up when you put it into mixed mode so select them both again make sure they're both selected okay now go to file go to export uh we want to just we'll just create a new folder here for this purpose you call it youtube there you go and then what we need to do is give it a name so we give the fbx a name Call him Mixamo Guy. Click Save. And this is important. Make sure the settings are the same as here. FBX 2012 binary. Selected. Figures. Props. Locks. And uh, create te textures to folder. And uh, make sure that's selected. Because we will use that later on in, in um, Unreal. And make sure that's in 2012 binary. Once you've done that, click Accept. And he starts doing its thing. It starts exporting that as an FBX. Make sure it's an FBX file. Because that's what seems to work for me. Okay, so while that's going on, uh, let's go to Mixamo. Let's just load the default character up so we don't get confused. 
uh, if you haven't got an account in Mixamo, make you just free, just go and sign up and just log in, and then you'll be able to do your downloads and uploads. So now we've got a, just a, a default figure. We're going to upload our own character. So click upload, click select. Uh, let's go to YouTube where we created it, and and there's the FBX file we just exported from Daz. So let's double click that and it will upload. So we'll be back in a minute when it stops, when it, when it uploads. Okay, so here we go. That's a good sign. That means it's loading. Uh, if you if you get this far, it's good. And there he is. There's the character with his with his boxer shorts or his shorts on. So that's uploaded successfully. We'll click on next, and now we'll ask us to create um, place some points over parts of the body. This will create like a skeleton for him. So we put the chin, the wrists, the elbows, and uh, the knees. And then the groin. So once we've done all that, we uh, click on next. Or oh, make sure it's standard skeleton. Um, you see there it says stand skeleton LOD. Make sure that's standard. There's other options. I don't know what they do though. And I left use symmetry on. Click on next. And now this takes about a minute or two to uh, create the skeleton. And um, once the skeleton's created and he appears in the window, we are ready to download it and um, import it into Unreal. So. He looks um, white on there, but don't worry. Um, the textures are there, will be there. When we put import into Unreal, they'll all be there. And um, we chose the option to save the textures as well. Remember, we did that on the export. So we'll just wait for this to um, process and apply the skeleton, and then we'll, we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so there we go. It's loading up. Nearly done now. Like I said it takes a bit long with the Daz 3D models for some reason. Um, other models like for Make Human, they're quite quick, but this one seems to take a little bit longer. And, and uh, don't forget, um, but that you have to select both the um, op items. We have to go to export and then rigging and then. Uh, obviously convert it to a prop and then we can export it because if you don't do that and you have a skeleton anywhere in there from Daz it will mess everything up so you have to make sure you select those two and there he is so you can see he's, he's successfully imported with his clothes now we can just um, add him to Mixamo and there he is so what we need to do now is just download him so we click on download we want with uh, FBX again we want um, with skin because we're going to download his textures um, and I, I don't really know what keyframe reduction is but there you go click download this will then ask for you to put it in a folder somewhere on your hard drive um, there you go so we'll just give it a name as well call it uh, Mixamo Man okay save that now we've got to switch to Unreal Engine 
Okay, so what we need to do now is go to the content folder there. So click on the content folder. You, you can put it in its own folders, but for this purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to um, put it in the same um, folder. So you'll click on input, right click, import FBX, or sorry, import to game. Then we have to look for our character where we saved it. And uh, no, it's not that one. No, I didn't put it in there. That's the original that one that we did. So we must put it here. There it goes. Make some and double click that. And then we want to leave everything as norm blank uh, as default here. We don't have to change anything at this point. Okay. So click import. And uh, it takes about 20, 30 seconds or so. But yeah, like I said, you can create your own folders, but uh, I'm not going to bother because it'll just confuse people. So it's, it, it'll work this way. Just a few more seconds, hopefully. Okay, so you'll get this error message. Uh, well, not an error message, it's a message, but you can safely ignore that, get clear. And then it's prepared in the shaders. So you'll see that uh, it's starting to create the shaders uh, as uh, you load the textures, but don't worry, the textures will be loaded up. Oh, and there they are. So the textures load up. Now what we need to do is um, select our skeletal mesh. There's three figures there, but we want the skeletal mesh at this point. So click and drag him into the scene. And there he is. Well, with his textures, remember I said that he looked white in Mixamo, but when you import him here, his textures come across as well. So there he is. So now what we want to do is add an animation. So click on this button here and we'll click on add level sequence. We'll call it whatever, leave it leave that as it is. Actually, no, we'll call it Mixamo. There you go. That takes us as a sequencer. Now, uh, you see there's nothing happening now when I press play. So we have to select the character, click on track, click actor to sequencer, and then add a Mixamo man. There you go. So select that one there. And if you press play now, nothing happens because we've got no animations on him. So what we need to do is get some animations. So uh, to do that, let's go back to Mixamo. Uh, let's look for an animation. Click on Animations tab. There's two tabs there, Character and Animation. This time we want animations. And we are just going to pick an animation from here. Where are we? Um, let's see. Silly dancing will do. OK, there you go. So um, we're going to download that. Click Download. This time, we don't want the skin because we've already got the skin. So we want without skin. Uh, frames per second, you can choose between 24, 30, and 60. We leave it at 30. I don't know what that does really, but okay. Click download. And that downloads that animation. You can download more than one animation. It's up to you. We're just doing one for this tutorial, but you can download multiple animations. So there you go. So it's downloaded. Let's make a note of where it is. There it is. Okay, so it's called Silly. Now what we need to do is uh, go back to our sequencer. Sorry our, sorry, our content our content folder and install, import the animations. Right click, import to game, select our silly dance. This time we need to make sure that we select our skeletal mesh and that one that we obviously did earlier was a mix a man, mix a man skeleton. So make sure that's selected. Otherwise you'll have issues later. So um, everything else can stay the same, but make sure that's selected. That's the skeleton that we imported just earlier on. Click on import. And the animations there. Now let's go back to our sequencer and see sequencer. Here we go. And then we click on um, the animation plus sign, and there you see the animation. If you don't see it, just type in the name of it and click to apply it. And now when we press play, you see the animation is playing, and our character has now been imported into Unreal from Daz via Mixamo and an animations added.